following stints in the UK and France, Stephen Kennard and his wife Ellie moved to Canning, Nova Scotia, where they now live and work. Though he wears many hats, Stephen focuses most of his time on making small, highly decorative turn boxes. Much of what Stephen turns is African black wood and cocoa bolo, as he generally likes the exterior of his boxes to be very dark. Both these woods accept the incredible texture Stephen incorporates into his work. Texture is one of the aspects that sets Stephen's work apart from much of the other turned objects you'll come across. This piece, titled The Box Came First, is a recent piece Stephen made for the professional outreach program at the American Association of Woodturners Symposium earlier this year. Standing at only six inches high and made in part of eggshell, it's a very intricate and time-consuming piece. This piece, titled Tower 2, comes apart in sections. It also has a highly polished burl interior like much of Stephen's work. Here are a few more of his pieces. Another recent piece, this is a collaboration with Elizabeth Golock, a Canadian metal artist, and is titled Medusa. An apple orchard used to stand near Stephen's home. He enjoyed spending time in it, and when it was cut down, he made this piece, titled Lost Orchard, in his honour. Stephen's home and studio are right beside each other in the Annapolis Valley. It's a very picturesque area that offers inspiration on a daily basis. Inside his studio is a full shop area on the lower floor with lots of space for machinery, tools and materials. Upstairs, Stephen houses a complete photographic studio, where he shoots images of his own work as well as the work of many others in the area. You'll also find Stephen outdoors in the surrounding area, taking lots of photos of the natural landscape. When he isn't turning boxes or using his camera, Stephen is likely instructing across Canada or the States. Here, he is at the Centre of Furniture Craftsmanship in Maine. He also teaches classes out of his own studio. Though most of his work is small turn boxes, Stephen does make furniture from time to time. A recent commission saw him create a set of curly maple dining chairs for a client. Stephen spends a lot of time in his studio with music energizing him 
and his new shop dog, but when he has some downtime, he's likely exploring Nova Scotia again with his camera, chasing the sun across the sky.